All right, so the two verses that I want to uh, preach on tonight are uh, verses that are really near and dear to me. I actually have one of them tattooed on my inner arm uh, right here. And so uh, they are 1 Peter 5, uh, 6 and 7. And so they say, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. And so there are three uh, words within this, uh, these two verses that I do want to focus on. The first one is that first word, humble. And so we know humble, it's a very common word in the Christian faith. Uh, it's submissive, it's meek. We hear Jesus talk about meek in Matthew 5.5, 5, where he says, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And uh, in this setting, <coughs> there are a couple different words in the Greek for humble. And I apologize, I have never studied Greek, so I'm going to butcher these three words. So <laughs> bear with me on that. But... The first one is a tempaneo, tempano, something like that. And so what it means is to humble with respect and hopes and expectations. And so when I hear that, I think of the fact of we, we have to give our hopes and our expectations and our dreams to God. And we, we pray as Christians, we pray for the uh, gift of humility and that sense of humility on us. And in this case, I don't think that's what this is talking about. I'm pretty sure that this is actually the action of being humble, and you have to let go of those hopes and expectations and those dreams because with that, if we're holding on to everything in our lives, how is God able then to move in, those, in our life in that way? And so the second word with that uh, is casting. So that is the second part. That is the part that is on my arm. Um, this one, it's the First Peter 5, 7, that says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he loves you. And so with casting, it, the Greek word is eperipto, or some kind of uh, way of saying that, but it means to throw on or cast upon. And so it's another action, it's another sense of you have to, you have to do this, you can't, you can't passively cast something upon or passively be humble in the sense, you do have to be active in that. And I've been reading uh, Richard Foster's Celebration of Discipline um, the past couple months, and uh, I grew up not in the Pentecostal background. I grew up at Willow Creek Community Church up in Chicago, Illinois. And so the sense of the Holy Spirit and sense of that was not something very taught to me. So uh, things like meditation, when uh, Richard Foster talks about it, was something brand new that I had never, ever heard about. And so I was very excited when I was reading about it in the book. And one of the things he talks about is this meditation practice where you're sitting in a chair and your feet are flat on the ground and you put your hands out, up on your knees, palms down and you methodically go through every part of your life, every hope, every dream, every passion, every want, and you say, this is now yours, God. And you take as long as you need and you just give it to him, and sometimes you physically feel it leaving your hands, sometimes you don't, but you have to do that, and it's this one of the ways that we do uh, meditation. And so it was a big thing, and so I've been doing that for the past couple months uh, with different things that God's been speaking, and so uh, the last word is care, and it's uh, mele, I think, and so it's uh, to concern, and we know God loves us, and God cares for us, and he wants the best for us, and I think that that is something that I've noticed very recently uh, with conversations with my friends, that it has been, that is something that some people aren't fully able to grasp. Mm -hmm. I was talking with a friend back in September at a wedding, and we were talking about how God wants every part of our lives, and he wants to be a part of everything, and he made the statement that has been really troubling me in the past couple weeks. He said, I don't understand how you, you can think that God wants every aspect of my life because I don't think God is in every aspect of my life and wants to be in those little moments and in those little conversations. And I don't know about you guys, but there's no way for me that I can understand that because God wants a relationship with us and a relationship is every part of our lives. Yeah. Uh, but there's, there's one other word. I did say there were only three words that I was going to look at, but there is a fourth one. And it's the one uh, for the reason why I have it tattooed on my arm, and it's uh, cast all your anxieties. And so when we are giving things to God and when we are uh, surrendering everything, there's that fear of, okay, I'm giving this to you, but it's not going to happen the way I want. It's not going to be the way I thought it would look. And I know personally for me, it looks when I start to have anxiety and all that, it happens in my chest. I physically feel it. I've had two instances where it looked like a heart attack and I had to go to the hospital because of it. And so the idea of meditation, and I know that that feeling, because it still happens, it's never been as bad as those two heart attacks, but it happens when I haven't been doing that meditation and I haven't been actively 
daily giving everything to God of my life. And so I guess my challenge to you guys is for this next week, this next season, what, I, what it may be with you, is to try that meditation style and surrender things to God. And maybe it's just one thing at a time, maybe it's two, but just try it and then just kind of see what happens and see how that fear and that anxiety of the unknown will change. Thank you.